Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create watermarks when printing on your HP printers. So this should work with the laser jet printers, with the ink cartridge printers. Again, as long as it's an HP printer, the steps should be pretty uniform. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in control panel, best match, or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by in the top right to category view, and then select hardware and sound. Underneath devices and printers, select where it says advanced printer setup. And now locate your HP printer from this list and just left click on it. And then select printing preferences. And now that we are in here, you want to select the effects tab. And on the right side, you want to locate, it's an edit button, and there's watermarks. So you can actually click in the drop down underneath watermarks and select one of the preset watermarks that HP offers here. However, if you want to do a custom one or change some additional settings, you can select the edit button as well. In which case, you can add a different watermark. You can create a new one in here. You can save whatever you want for the message in here. And you can see the little preview will appear over here on the right. You can adjust the angle of the measurement if you want a diagonal, horizontal, or a specific angle percentage. You can adjust the color of it as well, as well as the font style, the shading, the size, and the style of that font as well. So a lot of different options to choose from in here. And then you would select OK. And you would need to select Apply and OK to save the change. Do want to point out you also have the option to have the watermark only apply to the first page by selecting that check mark box in here and then you would need to select apply and okay to save the change and that's all you have to do so pretty straightforward process guys i do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye